What's up, guys? Hope you're having a great Sunday so far. I actually just got home from a baby shower. My wife and I, we are expecting our third coming up very soon, and we surprised her today, so she, that was that was fun. But I want to talk about XRP price a little bit here, okay? What we're seeing during this time and what we have seen over the last month is essentially 50% of these gains that we had from the conclusion of the Ripple v. SEC case erased. Okay, we are going through this massive pullback you know, this topped out at about 85 cents and we're now down at about 62 cents. So is this a bad thing? Why, why exactly is this happening? Well, what people need to realize is that there is an appeal that's going to be coming from the SEC. It may even be here already. Okay. I haven't seen any official announcements regarding this, but we know with their statements that they're a little salty from this loss. They feel they should have won completely. You know, they did get a minor win in the sense that, you know, some of the way that. XRP was originally distributed was the sale of an unregistered security. But again, XRP itself on secondary markets is not a security. The coin itself can never be a security. So this is where they wanted the win. And again, this kind of shows the bias, but that's the reason why we're going through this pullback right now, erasing a lot of the gains that we saw. It's because we're not quite out of the woods yet. Now, what you do need to know is that it's very difficult to win appeals. Okay. Especially when there's not much new evidence that that can help support your case, which really the SEC doesn't have anything, right? In a real, in all reality, there's a 20% likelihood that an appeal can be won, all right? So I'm not really expecting anything to change. I'm really not. And what this likely means is that we're gearing up for this bigger run as we move into price discovery, you know, in terms of XRP. What you have to remember is that you know, it, we've missed out on a lot of gains over these years. We missed out on the real heights of a bull market cycle in 2021 because obviously that lingering effect from this court case. So just imagine with us hitting a high of over $3 back in, you know, early 20, 2018, just imagine the heights that XRP can in fact reach as we get into mass adoption, as XRP or as Ripple continues to foster new partnerships, and, the, and they are, they've continued to do so abroad. But when there's that sort of clarity here in the US, that could open up the doors for a lot of big partners here and the homeland, right? So that's what I thought I'd share with you guys. You know, I'm not deterred by the fact that we're pulling back. I would not be surprised if we honestly pull back very close to where we started this run, you know, in that mid 40 range, I would probably get, if I was a betting man and I had to put a guess on it, I think we'd probably stop at about 55 cents. Okay. This is not financial advice. This is not a signal or anything like that, but just know that the good days are here. We may have a little bit of a bumpy road ahead, but there's nothing but clear blue skies after that. So I appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Show your support below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.